We have Bruce Miles with us, and we're talking about a great race, the McKay Waddle Race. Good morning to you, Bruce. Morning, Miles. Greg. How are you? I got my pin on right here. Got my pin on too. Yeah, yeah. that's good. You're well dressed today. Ski club pin. Yeah. You know the McKay Waddle Race been going on for how many years? This is the forty second year. And let's talk about the namesake of of the event. Um, well, tell us about the the two, two characters. Two young men who were taken from us way too soon. Uh, Dan McKay and Mike Waddle were both in our junior race program back in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. um, Dan died in a, a backcountry ski accident out west. Uh, and Mike died in a, in a uh, lo he was a commercial lobsterman later on in life and, and uh, passed away in a fishing accident in the middle of the winter. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we decided to honor these two kids because they really were, uh, they were special guys. They were, they, they were a lot of fun to be around. and. Uh, and they were good competitors, uh, right. good athletes, and good club members. Right. And their families were big club members. And so we decided to honor them with, uh, with a race named after them. And it's, a, and it's a scholarship race, and the money is used to uh, uh, help kids who qualify for like postseason events, kids who are successful. Because mm -hmm. the better you get in ski racing or snowboard or freestyle, the better you get, the more expensive it costs. You know, so um, so like it's a bit well, like, like a kid like <laughs> Sam Morse. You know, yeah. you see, you know, people know Sam Morse as a ski club member. He's on the U.S. ski team, racing in the World Cups. Had some top ten finishes this year. He's uh, he just got named to the B team last year. It, it cost him over thirty or forty thousand dollars to 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 go to compete to to be able to get there. Uh, we've helped helped him along the way. Uh, other kids like him. Um, we got kids, you know, that go and go to Korea for uh, absolutely champ World Cup, World Championship, Junior Championships. Um, so, uh, so we'll we'll give out a lot of what we call the the um, merit award mm -hmm. in the spring for kids who have done well in you know, uh, going to these uh, high level competitions. Some kids so, have done real well. Yeah, and you can uh, and the race is on our website uh, on the ski club. Uh, you go onto the home page, and you can. Um, Tap onto the poster that's there and uh, uh, sign up. It's forty dollars. It's Monday, February nineteenth, uh, up at the uh, Jean Luce Building is where the, the festivities will be. Right there on the left side of that page is a poster. You click on it. Just click on the poster. And it'll take you right to right to the uh, buy your entry. Now, if you if you don't want to race, you can still make a donation. Uh, you know, to the cause. Uh, if you do, if you do sign up, you get a T-shirt. We're going to have a barbecue uh, at the Jean Luce building, uh, and there's lots of uh, random drawing prices, so you don't have to be a racer to to do this. I mean, you just go up and go down through the course, and there'll be random bib draw prizes. Um, we'll also have prizes for kids who do, you know, people who do well, but it's for adults and kids both. And even if you're not racing. You can still buy into the barbecue. You, well, you can. Yes, uh, it's forty dollars, <laughs> and you'll get a T-shirt and an invitation to the barbecue. There you go. So, yeah, we'll have uh, we'll probably have about two hundred people in the race, right? Between it kids is, and parents, and yeah, it's a nice family event. So, yeah. and hopefully, the weather will cooperate with us, and we'll have a good day. Speaking of racing, there is a race today up there on the hill. Well, it's that's a, what Chris uh, had mentioned up yeah. on Gage. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Maine Alpine Racing Association. Uh, race, uh, USSA, or USSS now. Um, so that's today. And then tomorrow, tomorrow there'll be a Super G, a Mara race again, a, a Super G on gauge. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's good. Uh, but, yeah, I'm glad they got some, uh, hopefully they'll clear up that top of the hill there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, we are, uh, we've got a little snow, we've got a little spring yeah. sampler in the lower part of the mountain, as we've been kind of kidding about. Yeah. How about that thunderstorm yesterday? I, you at know, 3 o'clock, I was at a CVA board meeting, Yeah. and we were in this room that had a lot of windows, and all of a sudden the outside was like, it was an apocalypse coming or something, it just got really dark yeah. outside, and next thing you know, the, the, we heard this rumble. And, and sure enough, the lifts, you know, Carl, Carl was on with us because he's a board member of CBA, and, and he, uh, he said, yeah, let's just shut down, get lightning. <laughs> so, 
so that wasn't that wasn't good. But nobody nobody had a problem. So you know, we have to shut the lifts down. When did, we got did, it, did it add drama to the meeting? Did anyone gavel down while? No, the, not really. We just kind of you know, we just kind of looked out the window for a little bit and went, wow, what's crazy. going on, right? Because I mean, during the day we had rain. Yes, uh, just spots it, it of it came down hard. As for, Andy forecast. And then all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, the blue sky. You mm -hmm. know, it was like well, it was weird. Yeah. It was like at uh, Wizard of Oz, you know. Funny <laughs> weather we're having. Well, we were yeah. up at we were up at the uh, Polar Blast enjoying the snowmobile oh, racing. Oh, fun! There, so yeah. we didn't see the thunder yeah. happen, but we did get a little bit of yeah. rain, as Andy had forecasted. Yeah. Just wanted to point oh, that out. Wow, right on, huh? <laughs> Andy Keith Carson. Yeah, uh, Bruce, we're going to take a, a quick break and.